Hello, my name is Andrew Thake from Minds and Money. Delighted to be joined today by Sean Kunkun, who's the President and Chief Executive Officer of Dolly Varden. Delighted to have you on the show, Sean. Thanks for having me, Andrew. Um, for those of you who don't know um, much about Dolly Varden, can you tell us a little bit about the company? Yeah, absolutely. So um, again, grateful for the opportunity and for, for your audience here taking the time to learn about Dolly. Um, so Dolly Varden Silver is located in BC's prolific Golden Triangle. So this is an area that for over the last 100 years has produced some of the biggest gold silver mines on the planet. It's actually the richest 20 kilometers for gold and silver endowment in the world. And that's a big statement. And um, and essentially what's happened over the last couple of years is the BC government has brought in a lot of infrastructure. We've had um, ice, a lot of ice and glaciers melting. And of course we've seen the gold and silver price go dramatically higher. And as a result of those three events, um, projects like Dolly Varden uh, that was in production in the past uh, we are now reawakening the, the great giant mines of the Golden Triangle. So Dolly is uh, is very special in that it is unique in that it has a lot of high grade silver, but there is a large gold component. And it's um, it's just a very special asset because of its size, because of its grade and because of its location in a safe mining jurisdiction. So great uh, grade great size, great location in a great jurisdiction. Um, tell us a bit about your background. How did you um, get to become the CEO of Dolly Varden? Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Thank you, Andrew. So I've been working with mining companies for the last 20 years and going through a very strong bull market in precious metals in the 2000s, I helped grow a company from inception to a $1.4 billion valuation. And during that experience, there was a lot of lessons that I took away. Um, and the biggest lesson that I learned was that silver outperforms gold in a bull market. So I actually sought out Dolly Varden. I went out um, and I found the company and it was trading at a low valuation. And I brought in some very strong, astute, precious metals investors, investors like Eric Sprott, investors like Hecla Mining. Hecla is one of the best and fastest growing silver companies in the world. And they're producing about half of all US silver and they're about to be producing all half of Canadian silver. And so we, we got investments from great investors and, um, and essentially what we've built in the last three years since I took over as CEO in February of 2020 is we've grown the company from a $20 million company. We're valued at $215 million today. We've got close to $30 million in the bank. Uh, we've got a very, very large high-grade resource. On a silver equivalent basis, we've got about 140 million ounces in all categories. And what's really transpired here, Andrew, recently is we've stepped out of the known deposits and we're hitting on ambitious step-outs. So there's a real feeling amongst the team and our investors that we're just starting to unlock the discovery potential of this project, and it could rival some of the big projects in the neighborhood like um, Newcrest uh, Bruce Jack, which they recently acquired for $3 billion. And obviously to unlock that uh, potential, you need a great team and you have assembled a really inspiring group of professionals. Can you just talk about, I guess, some of those key appointments? You know, it's there's too many to really talk about in terms of, um, you know, I think about our, our geological team and, you know, this company, it's, it's interesting, like this project, it hasn't just attracted uh, investors, it's attracted top technical talent who see how big and, and how special this project is. So, you know, starting at the top, um, at our board level, We've got um, Rob McLeod, who's, uh, who's a dear friend and, and a business partner. And Rob, in, in addition to the geology attracting him, he's from the town of Stewart. He's a, he's a, you know, a third, third generation Hall of Fame uh, Canadian mining family. Um, and he's from Stewart. So what's driving him in addition to the discovery potential and the business proposition but if he can bring jobs to his hometown and, and, and create wealth in his backyard, that means something that goes well beyond 
um, you know, a monetary reward or even a, a, a scientific technical reward of discovery. So we, we've got Rob, we've got, um, you know, Newmont's uh, former Newmont head structural geologist, uh, Michael Henriksen at the board level. Um, and Michael came to us after we acquired Homestake, uh, which enabled us to triple our total global resource. And then we've also on our on our technical advisory, we've got Hecla's vice president of uh, exploration, Kurt Allen. So at the board level and at the at the advisory level, and then in addition, we've got Ryan Waymark, Jody Gibson. But what really makes Dolly tick is our VPX, Rob Van Egmont. And I got to say, if you know, if we had to give somebody the game ball or the most valuable person, I would I would have to give it to Rob Van Egmont because. He has led this company operationally, technically, and it's because of him that we've been so successful. And then he's got a phenomenal team below him, including Andrew Hamilton, Amanda Bennett. And it's really Amanda's discoveries at Wolf that has led us to the success we're having. So there's there's too many people to discuss. Joaquin Marias, Chris Seifert. I can go on for hours, but I'll stop. <laughs> um in terms of, um, obviously, you, you mentioned the management team experience, so you're all set up for success. What can investors that go and decide to invest in Dolly Varden, what kind of, can they expect um, to hear from you, I say, over the course of the next six to 18 months? What are your kind of key timelines coming up? Well, what, I want to set the stage before that, because I think what we have here in this company is you've got a company that 90% is controlled by either institutions corporates or high net worth billionaire like Eric Sprott. So you've, so I'll give you an example. So the, the silver ETF, which I think is valued at around $700 million mm -hmm. decided to double their stake in Dolly Varden recently. And it sent our shares up by about 30%. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the structure of the company. So if I'm an investor looking to get exposure to silver, you know, there's a lot of things that make this a very compelling company. You know, it's not in the traditional silver world of Bolivia, Argentina, and even places that have been very hospitable to mining like Peru or Chile or Mexico. Um, you know, there's just some concerns with some recent uh, governments that have uh, made our project even that much more attractive. But to, to answer your question, I have over 50 drill holes that we're going to be reporting imminently. And we had one of the most successful drill programs ever carried out on this property. We're putting out grades that are beyond our expectations, which are extremely high. So I've got 50 drill holes. The company has treasury. So we're in a position where, you know, unlike a lot of companies that are starved for capital in the space, you know, we're in a position where we're fully funded. And so, you know, I think for investors, if you're looking for exposure, and I'll tell you, this is a time where, you know, as gold is breaking out here and, you know, silver is set to outperform, if you're looking to get exposure, I can't think of a better name. And um, how, is, how immune are you to silver prices? Because obviously silver prices fluctuate, they go up, they go down, but how immune are to Dolly Varden to silver fluctuations? So, so I'll tell you, if silver were to double, there are going to be stocks that do better than Dolly Varden. Mm -hmm. And because those companies are worth less today, but mm -hmm. will be worth something in a higher price environment, mm -hmm. for Dolly Varden, because we're a high grade project, silver could go down. And this is still a project that I think is on the, you know, on the verge of showing its, you know, economics. So, you know, to answer your question, we're not, you know, obviously there's with 140 million ounces of silver in the ground, <laughs> There's, you know, you start plugging in $25 silver, $30 silver. I'm not even going to go beyond that, even though the reason I took over the company and I've put all of my energy and my time into this in the last three years is because I'm in the camp that believes we're going to see a new high in silver. And I haven't done it recently, but when I took over the company, we had 40 million ounces in the ground. You know, <laughs> we've got three times that today and then some. Um, I ran sensitivity analysis to the company back when I took it over. And I'll, let me just say this, I'll, we went, you know, it is the, 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 the market cap that we could have if we had higher silver prices is it's exponential. And so, um, but the good news is because it's high grade, if the price of silver were to drop, 
it's, it, you know, it's, it protects us. Now, I should mention, we have a huge gold component in this project. Like there's a lot of companies that are out there and you talked about, um, you know, differentiators. What makes Dolly different? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of companies that are claiming to be silver mines, but they're really um, lead zinc stories with a silver byproduct. And 70% of the world's silver comes via byproduct. And so what investors are really getting here is I don't know how zinc is going to perform. I don't know how lead is going to perform, but, you know, silver having, you know, being a two headed monster with the monetary metal and having huge industrial demand with inventories as low as they are. And if demand is in 2022, excuse me, if demand is in 2023, what it was in 2022, where are we going to get the silver? The price has to go higher. So I think I think Dolly is just in the right place at the right time. And we've given the project enough capital and put enough smart science around it to, to grow. And so, um, and as silver companies look to replenish their mineral inventory, it wouldn't surprise me if that resulted in a bid for the company in the next 12 months. Well, we think that Dolly Varden is a great company. We're delighted to have you at our upcoming Minds and Money Miami show. Um, would invite all the investors listening into this to go and check out Dolly Varden. That was Sean Kunkun, Chief Executive Officer of Dolly Varden. Thank you very much for your time today, Sean. Thank you, Andrew.